co-stars doesn't always lead to friendship. Sure, a lot of casting agents usually get the chemistry right, but if people are divas about it, then it probably won't go well anyways. These are some co-stars who can't stand each other in real life. Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni it's easy to assume that Justin Baldoni, the director and actor of It Ends With Us, did not get along with the film's lead actress, Blake Lively. I love you. That wasn't my question. Despite the internet's insatiable fascination with the turmoil surrounding the cast and how everyone appears to be avoiding him, The Hollywood Reporter claims that during post-production, there was a fracture between them. Consequently, Lively asked editor Shane Reed, who had worked on her husband Ryan Reynolds' film Deadpool and Wolverine for a fresh cut. Uncertainty surrounds which cut made it to the big screen, but it's safe to assume that things have been elevated ever since. Florence Pugh and Olivia Wilde a discussion started when Pew forgot to include Wilde in her sincere gratitude letters following the completion of Don't Worry Darling, which was directed and starred in by Wilde. Later, Pew didn't participate in a lot of the movie's promotion. Pew was reportedly dissatisfied with Wilde's work ethic on site and thought other crew members were left to pick up her slack, though it's unclear why exactly. When Wilde claimed that she was compelled to play mediator between Pew and Shia LaBeouf, who was first cast in the movie before Harry Styles was given the part, she further fueled the flames. Additionally, reports said that Pew was uneasy when Styles and Wilde started dating while on set. Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron On the set of 2015's Mad Max Fury Road, Charlize Theron reportedly thought of her off-screen beef enough that she requested the services of a mediator. George Miller, the film's director, discussed it in an interview with The Telegraph published in May 2024. There's no excuse for it, and I think there's a tendency in this business to use great performances as an excuse for other disruption that could be avoided, he said, adding that the actors were just two very different performers. Shannon Doherty and Alyssa Milano Shannon Doherty and Alyssa Milano, co-stars of Charmed, have a long-standing quarrel on television as well. Doherty recently said to Entertainment Tonight, I think I cried every single night of season two, adding that their rivalry ultimately got the better of them. Actress Holly Mary Combs, Doherty's third co-star, most recently disclosed what transpired before Doherty's departure from the show in an installment of Doherty's podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. According to Entertainment Tonight, Combs pretty much said on the podcast that it's her or Shannon, and Alyssa has said that she might sue them for not liking how the place was run. Combs continued by saying that Milano would not be opposed to using the footage she had of things that made her uncomfortable. After that, Doherty was fired off the show, and Combs appeared to be forced to stay on even though he didn't want to. They forced me to go back to a show I wanted nothing to do with, she admitted. I ended up doing the most hours for the least pay because I just didn't ask for raises. I didn't want to be more taken out of the budget. I didn't want to have no money for guest stars. Tim Allen and Casey Wilson Actress Casey Wilson recently talked about her unsatisfactory experience co-starring with Tim Allen in The Santa Claus. Tim Allen was such a B. Wilson said in an episode of her B-Sesh podcast, Per Variety, it was the truly single worst experience I've ever had with a co-star ever. Recalling a specific instance, Wilson mentioned that Allen had gone to a producer after finishing a scene to discuss Wilson's acting. He goes over to the producer who is standing four feet from me and I hear him, he goes, you gotta tell her to stop stepping on my lines, she remembered. The producer turns to me with horror on his face and has to walk one foot to me and he goes, um, Tim would ask that you stop stepping on his lines. Per Wilson, she said everybody was walking on eggshells around the actor on set. When he was done, he was so F rude. Never made eye contact, never said anything. It was so uncomfortable, she said. Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. Although they didn't always have a lot of chemistry, McAdams and Gosling became one of the most beloved on-screen and off-screen couples in history. Director Nick Cassavetes disclosed that Gosling once requested that McAdams be removed from the set due to the nature of their relationship. In the end, the two were debating in front of a producer. They famously dated in real life from mid-2005 to mid-2007, so it must have worked. Scott Patterson and Lauren Graham 
The 2005 interview in which Graham stated that her Gilmore Girls character Lorelai belonged with her ex-husband Christopher, rather than Patterson's Luke, a fan favorite, gave rise to rumors that the two were at odds. In a different 2005 interview, Graham addressed rumors that her response was motivated by a personal thing against Patterson by stating, no, that's just what I used to feel. When asked how her relationship with Patterson is, Graham said, it's fine. I think these characters have a great chemistry and that does mirror our chemistry as people. We're not friends. Fans believed that these statements, when taken out of context, suggested a bad relationship between the two, although they have appeared friendly over time. Jamie Foxx and LL Cool J The beef between Jamie Foxx and LL Cool J during the filming of Any Given Sunday in 1999 escalated to the point where the Miami-Dade County police were called in. You had an actual <laughs> fist fight with LL Cool J? Because he works out. We did, we did, man. It was While filming a scene at Miami's Pro Player Stadium, the actors went back and forth with each other, although they have since stated that they're good now. Tyrese Gibson and James Franco I never want to work with him again, and I'm sure he feels the same way. It felt very personal, Gibson told a magazine company of his feud with Franco in 2007, after what happened on the set of Annopolis a year prior. Gibson was reportedly annoyed by Franco's method acting, especially when the two were rehearsing for boxing scenes and James Franco wouldn't fake an action. Franco responded to his statements during an interview with Complex Magazine saying, we've made up, or I tried to make up with him. Maybe I was too into that role. I didn't try to be mean to anybody on a movie. Leia Michelle and Naya Rivera. In her candid 2016 book, Sorry Not Sorry, Dreams, Mistakes, and Growing Up, Rivera didn't hold back when it came to discussing her experience with her Glee co-star. Rivera claimed that friendships started to break down because her character began getting bigger plot lines and more screen time. Rivera quipped, I think Rachel, er, um, I mean Leah, didn't like sharing the spotlight. By the time Rivera left the show, she stated that things had gotten to the point where the two were hardly speaking at all. One of the Glee writers once said that Leah and I were like two sides of the same battery and that about sums us up. Rivera wrote, We are both strong-willed and competitive, not just with each other, but with everyone, and that's not a good mixture. Will Smith and Janet Hubert in a 2016 interview, Hubert talked about her long-running spat with Smith, her co-star on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, claiming that Smith had turned down her requests to negotiate a pay increase along with those of the other co-stars. Hubert left the show in 1993 after three seasons, as a result of the tension. In the years that followed, the two went back and forth with each other, particularly the year following her departure when Smith called Hubert out on a radio program. At the time, Will declared, I can say straight up that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show, because I know she is going to dog me in the press. She essentially went from earning a quarter of a million dollars annually to having no income. She's sour today, but she's always been sour. She said once, I've been in the business for 10 years and this snotty nosed punk comes along and gets a show. Hubert, however, claimed to people in 2021 that she and Smith had reconciled and were now regular friends. Come here, you. <laughs> What did you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments, and we hope you have a great day. Peace out.